Welcome back to Med School Radio, bringing you the best in medicine. Who are you? Bond. James Bond. Welcome back to Med School Radio. This is Simon here in Texas. So today I want to talk to you about something that's working for me. I have been preparing for the USMLE. I'm a 55-year-old medical student who has not yet taken the USMLE. Previously a clinical psychologist in Tokyo. Finishing up my program now and I've been doing U-roll questions for years and I'm not making the progress I need to be. I've also been, of course, looking at first aid and many of the other supplemental programs that are offered on the internet. But recently I started using the DIT Doctors in Training course and looking at Dr. Fisher's lectures. As for Dr. Fisher's lectures, I started with the integrated cases. So I have been doing the DIT course and Dr. Fisher's lectures. And for those of you who don't know, the way the DIT course is set up is it's in two parts. In the first part, there are 34 sets of PDFs which you download or print out and it has you look through text, for example, first aid or step up to USMLE, um, Robbins, Guyton, other textbooks, depending on what you have. And you prepare these questions, there are only 10 uh, per day or per PDF and then there's a short video which very exactly explains the answers. It's very short, they're about 10 minutes each. And then you go to the next one. I really found that the information is sticking and then when I do the MCQs uh, on UWorld, I seem to be doing better. So in addition, I listened to the integrated cases from Dr. Fisher and I think a few years ago if I had tried to listen to them I wouldn't have done so well they wouldn't have made as much sense but now I'm finishing up finished most of my courses the way they're presented really is sticking with me he presents one case for example of congestive heart failure or someone with high blood pressure or edema or edema and he presents it in a way that there's so many questions that come out of this case that uh, by the end of the one hour or so session you kind of have a, a confident feeling and then when you go to the section of UWorld or whatever QBank you're doing you really do much better. Um, it's not only with those questions just generally I'm getting more confidence um, in looking at the answer choices and uh, anyway it just seems to be going better. So, you know, in the previous podcast, I said, be careful of all the things that will distract you from your world, and this is true. But if you find something that really works, then by all means, go for it, because it's really making a big difference for me. So keep up the good work, and check in next time. We're with Med School Radio, and thanks very much for following me for so long.